Have you got any potions for sale right now? He says, let's have a look. And he opens <laughs> his web browser <laughs> to find a pre-made <laughs> list of potions. Sorry, Barry. <laughs> He's a modern retailer. He is a modern retailer. So Same he opens up his, uh, <laughs> his, yeah. uh, his satchel and he begins to browse through potions. And he takes one. He's like, no, this one's no good. And uh, he opens another and he says, that's not the right thing to open on the website. <laughs> 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 And he looks through various tabs, selects the right size town. <laughs> <laughs> and he finds himself some appropriate potions to sell someone of your level. <laughs> You're on it and tonight, DM. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Slick. <laughs> I know it's a it's a seamless show that you get with Pokemon in the world. There's complete commitment to the role play and the the illusion of the game. <laughs> you don't see any of the um, the background stuff still pending, still being made. Um... <laughs> okay, so he takes out a couple of a couple of potions for you. He has three potions, and he places them in front of you. Uh, the first one is a green tincture that he opens and it smells like hot metal. The second is a cloudy mixture, and as he opens it, it smells like like musky. And the third one is a swirling oil of yellow. And he says these three potions. The first one is a potion of reduced person. If you drink it, you'll be small for a, a, a period of time. Um, the second one is a potion of spider climb. So if you take it, you'll be able to climb walls like a, a with, with the power of a spider. The third one is a potion of virtue. 